Hey guys, welcome back again to Hackies on YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you about how to install Android in your virtual box. So this method, this particular method suits for both Linux and Windows system. So you, whatever the system may be, you can follow this method for installation. The thing is you need, you just need virtual box and Android ISO. Okay. So for, from the official side, you just uh, download the binary package and you can install uh, VirtualBox very easily. But uh, in, in Linux system, I mean in the Debian based system, you can use a, a apt get install command, but uh, that's not working perfectly. So I would recommend you to go with the binary package that is available uh, in the official website. So you just download it and install the latest version of VirtualBox and then you need Android ISO. I'll give the link in the description box. Just uh, you need to go to that uh, link and uh, enter. You just need to visit the link. Automatically, it will download the ISO and the version of uh, Android is here is uh, 8.1. That is Oreo. It's taking some time. Okay, uh, you can see that uh, it's for, it, it, we are getting a prompt. Uh, for the download if you, you just uh, need to save it okay in my case i have already downloaded it so just going to cancel it just close it out uh, now we are up ready for the installation just head over to your virtual box and uh, this is my previous one that i have that i am already using but now i am going to create a new one android hacky song let me name it you can name it uh, as anything as you want and this particular you can configure this android with uh, burp suit and uh, you can do uh, mobile app pen testing okay android app pen testing for for that also you can use it because uh jenny motion already most of the bug hunters and penetration testers are using jenny motion but uh, it is not a free one uh, just they are giving 14 days trial but this method is completely free and uh, reliable so i would suggest you to go with this uh, in our future videos, I'll I'll post more videos regarding to Android pen testing. So at that time, we'll discuss more related to this topic. Okay. So next, you need to choose Linux and Linux 2.64 bit. Next, this is uh here uh, you need to give the RAM size that you want to allocate. So 2 GB is enough. Create. Uh, next. Next. Now you need to give them hard disk size that's 50 GB click on create okay uh, now head over to the settings and uh, go to the system storage here uh, choose, click on the MT and uh, click on this icon now you need to choose the hard disk file uh, ISO file now click on OK Okay, we have chosen the file. Now double tap on this name, automatically it will boot up the system and you will be uh, seeing the screen, okay. In this, uh, if you wish to run Android as a live CD, then you can choose the first one. But uh, in our case, we, are, we need a permanent one. So I'm going to install it to my hard disk, I, I mean uh, my virtual hard drive. So choose the third option, it will load and uh, Okay, let me uh, zoom in. Okay, I uh, think, hope you all can see. Okay, choose the first, uh, we need a partition because there, there won't be any partition. We didn't create any partition for the hard disk that we have created. So we need to create a partition. Click on create or modify partition and we don't want to use GPT, so click on no. Now we need to just uh, click, uh, just now we are ready to ready to. Now we are ready for the party for creating the partition. Just uh, use your arrow keys uh, to move. From here and there because our mouse won't work uh, I mean your internal mouse won't work so just uh, use the arrow keys click on new and uh, here obviously we are going to use a primary partition so 
click on new and I'm going to use the entire hard disk for this purpose so just uh, hit enter I'm not going to change any uh, I'm not going to do any change in the size if you wish you can do the change but uh, that's not need and not necessary so just hitting enter now move on to the right uh, using the arrow key just move to the right I mean the we, need, we are going to we are ready for uh, writing the partition so just uh, click on write now it will ask you for whether I can write the partition table to the disk or not I mean yes or not so you need to type yes and uh, hit enter you can see it's now writing partition table to the disk just wait for some time okay uh, it's ready now we we need to quit from this uh, option and you can see the hard disk we have created the partition just uh, click on ok now you need to select the file system format uh, we know if you have worked with Linux definitely you would, you would have known this uh, external 4 most of the time we will be using external 4 partition so just uh, click on ok are you sure you want to format the uh, partition SDA1? Yes. So, do you want to install bootloader? Yes. Uh, we need to, we need the grub. So, yes. So the final one is uh, system directory. Obviously, yes. So this will take some time for the for writing the data into the disk. So most most probably it will uh, complete in few minutes, uh, less than a minute or uh, two, two to three minutes it will take. So just uh, we need all we need to do is we need to wait till the installation. I mean the writing uh, partition. Just we need to wait for some times. Okay, we have successfully installed Android 8.1 in our, into our virtual box. Now you need to reboot your system. Okay, it's rebooting. Uh, okay, here uh, you, you can see that uh, the screen, okay, the previous one before installation we have got the screen and uh, now also we are getting this because uh, the ISO is still there in the virtual box. So we need to remove that. Then only uh, it will. Then only we can work with this. Head over to the settings. Uh, go to the storage and choose the ISO and click on this icon. This will remove the ISO from from our virtual box. And now click OK. Now we are completely ready. Just double tap uh, into our Android. And you can you you have to see this screen. Okay, uh, you it should show the screen and. Choose the first option. The process begins, and okay, this is a common error. Uh, we are not getting the display, but you can see you can able to see all the Android files, but you are not able to see the display. For this, you need to make an adjustment on the display option. Just close it again, and head over to the settings again. Go to display, and here choose uh, VBox SVGA and enable the 3d acceleration and click on ok now double tap to our android system now you should able to see the android screen it should come okay here here we go so we have successfully installed android into our virtual box so just it's it's like uh, for the first time, we, if you would have bought any mobile phone for the first time, it will ask for some configuration, isn't it? So the same method, uh, you need to do uh, do it here. It will ask for choosing the language, logging into the mail ID. If you wish, you can log into the mail ID, and if you wish, you can connect to the Wi-Fi as you wish. Okay, so it's up to your wish. So it's like as like as our Android uh, for Android device. You can see here. This is a. This, it will look for the first first time of booting. Android will look like this. So exactly, it's showing like that. So we have successfully installed. If you wish, you can connect to the Wi-Fi network. But 
I don't want to want, want to connect to the white Wi-Fi network now. So just uh, I'm going to skip all the things. Okay, here we go. Skip. Continue. Okay, next. For uh, best performance, uh, just use a, an external mouse so it will be uh, very much uh, perfect it will suits very perfectly for this so we need to create and no thanks i don't want to add any mail id now Okay, you can choose any launcher you want. Just I'm um, using the default launcher. Here we go. We have got into our system and this is the home screen of our Android. We have successfully installed Android into our virtual machine. So if you have any doubts uh, in this video or if you have any problem with, uh, with the installation, just contact me. All the contact details are below in the description box. Don't hesitate to contact us for any issue. You just contact me and uh, while contacting, just uh, post a screenshot of what er of the error. OK, so then we can I can exactly uh, so that I can exactly conclude what it is. Okay, so I, it will be very much easy for me to uh, help you. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.